Start. Then. Hello again, this is BGFH. Welcome back to another iOS accessibility video. So far, we've looked at the low vision stuff. We've looked at a little bit of the zoom, pinch to zoom, and the uh, describe the zoom app a little bit. And I've given you guys some of the um, basic gestures and um, getting started with voiceover. And before I go t into using too many other apps with voiceover, um, now that you've kind of got a few basic navigation gestures and commands under your belt, um, one thing that I do want to cover quickly is I want to cover actually oh, setting right. up voiceover, you know, customizing it a little bit more because yes, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, but there are a lot of other things that you can do with voiceover to fit your style. So I'm going to go into my settings. Settings. Again, double tap to open. Double tap to open. Remember, I go down to general. General button. Double tap, go there. General. I'm going to use my Cellular. three fingers, On. my three fingers, and flick. Rows nine to seventeen of seventeen. Okay, so I scroll down. I'm going to go into accessibility. Accessibility. All right. Accessibility. Now I'm General. going to go. Back vision heading. Voiceover. On button. Our first option is voiceover on. Now that might be originally um, that, or that might initially be a little bit confusing because you would think if you double tap that, you might turn it off. That isn't actually the case. You can actually double tap it and go into this, and it's going to bring me to additional voiceover settings. Voiceover accessibility. Okay, so now we're actually specifically into the voiceover settings area. So our first item we got here. Voiceover on. Voiceover on. Double tap to toggle setting. Now if I double tap, it'll toggle the setting. Well, I don't want to turn voiceover off, so we're going to leave that alone. Voiceover speaks items on the screen. Yes, it does. So... Voiceover practice button. Now remember in the last video, I mentioned that there were some interactive... Uh, third-party apps that you could get that go more into detail about letting you practice voiceover gestures. The iPhone itself, if you go under this uh, voiceover settings area, you can go into a more basic version of basically voiceover practice. Uh, let's pop into there real quick. Voiceover practice. I'm going to double tap. Voiceover practice. Heading. Okay. Practice voiceover touch. Select item under your finger. So if I do gestures... Touch. Select item under your finger. Now if I swipe down... Click down. Move to next item using rotor setting. So we'll get more into that as we go. Click right. Move to next item. So it's kind of like a keyboard help mode, except it's a gesture help mode because we're not using an actual keyboard. If I flick left... Flick left. Move to previous item. What about three finger flick down? Three finger flick down. Scroll up one page. Three finger flick up. Scroll down one page. All right. So it's not really interactive as far as like, you know, giving you little drills to practice, but if you are trying, let's say I want to. Three finger triple tap. Toggle screen curtain on and off. Three finger double tap. Toggle speech on and off. Two finger triple tap. Item chooser. So I'm doing all kinds of different gestures and just learning what they are. And um, don't worry about some of those. I'll explain some of those <laughs> as we go on further. Uh, now, how do we get out of here again? Done. Button. Done. Okay, there we go. So in the upper right corner, there was a done button. Um, I kind of cheated and kind of knew where it was, but... You could have, um, you know, slid, again, just slid your finger around the screen... Um, and you would have found the little done button. So we're back to the voiceover settings window or screen. We just did the voiceover practice. Speak hints on. Double tap to toggle setting. Now speak hints is on. Hints are those little things that you've been hearing, you know, where <coughs> it'll first tell you an item that you're hovering over. 
but it'll also tell you if I'm on a setting it says double tap to toggle setting if I'm on an app on the home screen it says double tap to open or you know um, if I'm on a control it'll tell me how to interact with that item speaking rate heading speaking rate speaking rate 30 percent adjustable swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value so there's our hint now we found our actual slider and it's telling us to flick up and down with one finger to adjust the value so if I flick up 40 percent 50 percent 40 percent 30 percent so we'll leave it at 30. I typically use it at about 55% myself, which is pretty fast, but for demo purposes, I do want to slow it down, um, like I said, just so you guys can understand it better. Um, so that's your speed, you know, you can adjust that. And you can also adjust it on the, on the special voiceover rotors. And we'll, again, we'll get more into the rotor in the future. Typing feedback button. Typing feedback. This is kind of a cool setting because typing feedback. you have over. multiple Back settings. Button. So if I go in here, software keyboards, software Type. keyboard. So my on screen keyboard, I can control do I want to hear nothing? Nothing. Characters, words, selected, characters and words. Characters and words. That's what I have it for the software keyboard because I don't really have any tactile feedback so I do want to know what's going on a little bit more in detail however if I hook up a let's say a Bluetooth QWERTY keyboard or a Bluetooth Braille keyboard which I'll talk more about briefly shortly I have others I can change settings for those specifically so for that nothing characters selected words if I'm using a physical keyboard where, you know, I know where the buttons are, I'm used to using a keyboard, I know how to type, I don't want to hear everything, just like I would if I was using a desktop or laptop screen reader, a window screen reader. Um, I only want to hear words. So it's nice that they give you the option to customize what is spoken depending on whether you're using a software, the on-screen keyboard, or an actual physical keyboard. I do like that. Voice over. Back button. Nice touch. Typing feedback. Button. Okay, let's three finger to 13 of 13. Uh, flick and we'll scroll down. Typing feedback. Use phonetics on. Double Use phonetics. That's where like it can tell you, like if you hold it over a letter, it'll kind of tell you, you know, A alpha, B bravo. You know, so if you're unclear if something is a B, G, or D, it'll help you out there. Use pitch change on. Pitch change Double for like capital letters, on. pretty self explanatory, pretty common feature. Um, tell you it'll let you know if something is capitalized or not easier. Use compact voice. I'll Use compact voice. Um, in I think it was iOS five or six, they released the voice that we're using now, this higher quality version of Samantha. Um, before it was really compact and it was a smaller size and maybe it was a tad more responsive on older devices. Um, but I, it, you can turn this better voice off and put the old one on. I'm not going to do that. But, um, you know, some people who have used it from the beginning sometimes prefer the compact one. I personally don't care for it. Um, but there you go. You've got that option. Braille. Braille at 0430. Button. Braille. Here is where... Um, let me check my time here. Home. x rack x rack Okay, Ready. we got some time here. Settings. Okay. So, settings, braille. Braille, um, you can use a Bluetooth braille display with an iOS device and they work very well. Um, one catch that I will point out right now immediately because it threw me off for the longest time and occasionally I will forget. You would think that, okay, I have a Bluetooth braille display. I want to go under general, you know, the, just the regular Bluetooth settings and pair it there. Uh, no, that doesn't work. It won't pair correctly. <laughs> I learned that the hard way and had trouble with that. Instead, you have to go under voiceover, this uh, voiceover settings here, and choose Braille. 
and then you, when you put it in pairing mode, you will see a list of available displays, and you can pair it there. So you actually have to pair a braille display under the voiceover settings area, otherwise it will not pair properly, <coughs> and it will not work. Um, like I said, I think everyone who starts out with iOS and uses a braille display at some point Always, you know, most everyone makes that mistake if they're unaware of it because you would just think you go under Bluetooth, but eh, no. So that's just a word of caution. Brick rotor button. Now rotor. Language rotor button. I have two rotor options. I have rotor and language rotor. rotor button. I'm gonna go into rotor real quick. Rotor. Selected words. So rotor. <sighs> In it, like when I, you know, I demonstrated it how to use typing mode. But when I'm generally navigating, you know, with a keyboard, I can choose, you know, I can do keyboard commands, navigate by letter, by word, line, sentence, heading, um, form control, whatever on a web page or document, all these different things. Um, if you're familiar with like a book player, like the Book Sense or Victor Reader Stream. You know how you basically, when you're navigating with those devices, you're actually, you know, you use like up and down to cycle between, I want to navigate between characters, words, lines, sentences, whatever, and then I'll use left and right to actually move by that element. The rotor is, that that's exactly what the rotor does. And what this screen allows me to do is it allows me to check or uncheck the items that I want to navigate by. So if I don't usually, let's say... Selected headings, selected links, tables. So I don't really navigate by table, or Table. tables, tables. <laughs> um, I don't navigate by tables very often. Um, I could, but if I want to do, I could enable that. Right now I have it disabled. All I'd have to do is double tap and that would add it to my rotor list. Um, and again, we, we may touch on that when I start working, especially with the internet. Um, that's over. where we'll really Voice start over. using the rotor more. Voiceover. Language rotor. Language Button. rotor, if you speak multiple languages, um, voiceover does support multiple languages. And you can, uh, if you do have multiple languages checked in this rotor, you, in addition to all those other rotor settings that you just saw on that previous screen, you're going to get also other languages. Um, you're going to get a language option in the rotor, and then you can switch between languages on the fly. Right now, I do have it in there just because like, I can switch between, I think it's like Australian English and regular English, just to show people. Um, that kind of thing. Navigate images, always. Button. Navigate images, always. Speak notifications in lock screen. Off. Speak notifications Double in lock screen. Setting. That's where, if I have it locked and a notification pops up, do I want it to automatically say it, or do I Most want to check to 13, it when I 13. get to get around to it? Speak notifications in lock screen. And that is the bottom item of our voiceover settings area. So that gives you an idea of some of the ways you can customize voiceover, you know, just like you can customize your computer screen, screen reader. You have some customization options in voiceover. Um, the, like I said, the main thing to really remember is the Braille settings, <laughs> you really do want to, you really have to go pair them under this voiceover section. You cannot do it in general Bluetooth because it's not going to work. Um, I've made that mistake more than once. So um, that should give you more of an idea of uh, some of your settings you can customize in voiceover. And next time we'll get into... Rather than just try to explain voiceover features, I'm just going to mo take more of a task approach and just kind of show you some basic things like let's say maybe navigating email, moving around the internet, um, I've showed you already how to navigate the home screen, so those types of things. So I'll try to choose a few, few different apps that highlight some of voiceover's extra gestures like the rotor and navigation and things like that. So I will uh, wrap it up here and talk to you guys next time. Stop.